You ready to go? Yeah. All right, well, let's go. Gotta get your harnesses on. You ready to get harnesses? Stay still. Yeah, you're excited, huh? Stay still. Good baby. Good girl. Patiently waiting. Yeah. Usually it helps to just kind of lightly tap their head. Okay. The heat thing is usually good enough about not pushing on the bag and not trying to get out. You're ready to go. away from home and their first adventure out together. So this is kind of Maneki's second phase of her training. We've trained her a lot in the yard wearing the harness and on the leash. So now we're going to see how she reacts to being in an unfamiliar environment. Yeah. 
for this video we chose a location that was not going to be overloaded with people but yet it has some background noise and traffic so she'll have to get used to the sounds and kind of uh, activity of other people you definitely don't want to take them someplace overly busy you don't want to scare them that first time out but you, you want them to be curious and have to get used to some stuff Both heads in the bubble. <laughs> He just pulled off a bag transfer, came over to join me. <laughs> so this is something we've had happen with a bag. This bag's been through about a year of use 
Uh, and just the zipper is getting pretty worn. And so this part of the zipper has become crushed and doesn't want to open and close like it normally did. Um, it's not too bad, we just have to pull on it, kind of like an old backpack or anything else that gets a little worn. Um, just something to keep in mind with these that you might see down the road through a lot of use. Uh, but it made it a year, so I can't really complain there. to announce the winner of our giveaway. It is Selkie. We will be announcing another giveaway soon in the future, so stay tuned, keep telling your friends, and you might get a chance to win a t-shirt or a pet carrier backpack. Get in that one. So, in summary, phase two on Maneki's training today I think went very well. She is learning to stay with the group, um, she's using her backpack when she's feeling kind of out of her element. Um, it was very windy, and especially since we were at a lake. So 
that kind of makes them uncomfortable sometimes, but I think it's a really good thing to give them exposure to so they get used to all types of different conditions. It's good to push your cat's boundaries so they will learn to get comfortable in different environments, but you also want to know your cat so you don't <laughs> stress them out to a point that's um, kind of past their breaking point or what have you. So, you know, kind of finding that happy medium between challenging them and making sure that they're still going to be safe and be healthy. Um, so basically we want to just keep practicing um, taking Maneki outside, wearing the harness and the leash and trying to give her direction. I think that's an area she still needs to work on. <laughs> is uh, if we want her to go a certain place or not go a certain place is learning to take that feedback from us. So it's just a, a lot of practice and consistency, anything you're trying to do training with cats and um, just keep working towards your goal and eventually both you and your cat will be expert adventurers. What do you think, Kitsune? Is it time to go? Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, Pepe. She did a group photo. <laughs> Did you have fun at the lake? Thanks Cool Cat Crew for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date when we upload new videos. And have a great day.